Animation Gallery. Thank you for joining. I'm so happy to see you all here today. Now I would like to present today's topic. Today's Africa series painting journey will take us to the country known as the Heart of the Africa. It's Burundi. Don't miss out this amazing painting and story. Watch this video till the end. We are presenting the beautiful sunset painting from Burundi. Friends, we are so much in love with Africa. See, we have already reached 64th episode. So, we can say that Africa really amazed us with its stunning village life to elegant tribal life. It also surprised us with its street murals to the mysterious Egypt also. But we must say that this is only the beginning and there is yet to witness more amazing depictions from this vivid continent. Now coming back to today's episode, it's the African sunset painting from Burundi. So friends, today is the day you can say to explore Africa's beauty of sunset or rather you can also say that to explore the beauty lies within the weather there. Beautiful sunset will be spent with the beautiful people, all you guys. Let's enter the journey. Friends, here in this painting, we will see women from Burundi are traveling towards their home with water pot on their head and some sticks as well. This hilly and mountainous land of Burundi cannot stop them. A man is standing at par with traditional dress. Sunset has covered the area fully and the dusky light lightened up their faces somehow. African sunsets look like postcards sent at home as the water provides beautiful reflections and palm trees add a dimensional flair to the deep colors of the sky. Being so close to the equator, evenings in the Seychelles are pleasant, making the sunset spectacular year-round experience. You can watch a sunset in Africa and believe you have witnessed the hand of God. With horizons that seem to stretch out forever and a breathtaking kaleidoscope of colors emerging to kiss the sky. The African continent has some of the most magical skies. The dramatic wildness, the changing landscape and amazing wildlife only add to its magic and charm. Let's talk about Burundi. It is the country in East Central Africa, south of the equator. The landlocked country, a historical kingdom, is one of the few countries in Africa whose borders were not determined by colonial rulers. Burundi's capital is Bujumbura, lies at the northeastern end of Lake Tanganyika. The Tua, Hutu and Tutsi people have lived in Burundi for at least 500 years. Much of Burundi's rich culture you know here, most notably folk songs and dances was intended to extol the virtues of kingship. However, since the fall of monarchy in 1966, such cultural expressions has won. Burundian daily life has been conditioned by the exigencies of survival in a time of civil strife and ethnic hatred and many important social institutions such as family and the village council have lost their force. Friends, once widely celebrated events include the annual Sorghum festival 
the occasion for a magnificent display of traditional dances by sport dancers also participating in the festival are drummers beating the ariande sacred drum an emblem of the monarchy their performance is intended to give both musical and symbolic resonance to this festival and to other ceremonial occasions throughout history burundians have enjoyed the tradition of expression in the visual arts also decorative papyrus panels which feature geometric patterns and often depict themes from burundian legends in general friends the people here are welcome and warm Burundian culture is one of the most unique in Africa. It gives visitors an extraordinary charm and an uniquely welcoming atmosphere. In Burundi, rural women are the backbone of the household and the beating heart of the economy. They work often as domestics uh, in the fields from morning to night and can barely enjoy a minute's rest from the time they get up until they go to bed. They leave at dawn with their children on their backs and return in the evening exhausted, still having to uh, take care of water supply for the family, find fuel of the fire for the fire, take two very heavy burdens, and prepare meals. Africa is a travel superstar. Now meet Burundi, beautiful and fast becoming the hottest new travel ticket in the region. In an age when there is hardly a place left on Google Earth that has not already been discovered by the Lonely Planet or Travel TV, Burundi stands out for having been left out of the limelight. So, the best way to know this title of the country in the heart of Africa is still to go and see it yourself. The trip to Bujumbura is though through hills and dragged mountain peaks in every shades of green you will see. Neon green, lime green, algae green, they are thick and lush and fringed by forests of banana trees that lean into roads. In the villages on the way, scooters line in the streets like motorcade and cyclists hitch rides on trucks by holding onto their bumpers. Friends, Burundi is a small country located on the shores of Lake Tanganyaka. Discover the four corners of Burundi here. Climb on the top of our hills, walk through our rainforests, navigate lakes and sunbath on the beaches. Burundi is the ideal place to spend an unforgettable vacation. With its warm climate, equally warm hospitality and interesting places to visit, Burundi is a country where it's great to be a tourist. Friends, friends what more can I say? We will definitely try to surprise you with our Africa series. Let's celebrate the color of life with Imagination Gallery.
liked and enjoyed this African sunset at Burundi? If you like our unique painting sessions, then do not forget to subscribe our channel. Wishing you an amazing week. Bye for now.